All right, Mr. 300, let's do them fast. There we go. Oh, jeez. Aaron! Oh, you got that one. <laughs> Holy cows. You're supposed to throw them on shoot. Well, I bet it's all on me to do it. That made it so much more difficult, but 295 more, I would have been feeling the burn. Ah, man, we're working hard this afternoon. Absolutely. Well, uh, we were visiting with a friend not too long ago, and he had a question for us. You guys might have the same question he said. Do you really like Winchesters, or do you just shoot them because they sponsor you? Well, here's the deal. First of all, we were shooting Winchesters long before anyone would have paid us a dime to shoot a shotgun. In fact, the way I started, when I, the way I shot when I first started, there's companies that would have paid me not to shoot their shotguns. No, that's how bad I was. <laughs> but, you know, we don't only love Winchester shotguns, we love their rifles and their handguns. And if you know anything about Winchester or firearms, you're probably thinking, never seen a handgun made by Winchester. I brought one with today to show you guys. It's a Winchester SX3 long handgun in 20 gauge. <laughs> yes, technically, I suppose you would call this a shotgun. But what makes this shotgun so different is that it's so light and has such little recoil, you really only need one hand to operate it. So to demonstrate that to you guys, I'm just going to have Aaron toss out some clays. I'm just going to go up one-handed, start taking them out of the air, maybe spin a 180 on the last one, wait for dramatic effect, shoot it just like that. Did I hit that last one? No. But it doesn't matter, Steve, because a real gunslinger could put a 20 gauge in each hand and shoot clay. What do you mean? A real gunslinger. Yes, that's uh, called Hollywood gunslingers. Not not in a live show. I mean, that was hard enough. I missed that clay with the gun one hand. You're going to put one in each hand and shoot? Well, maybe you need to start calling me Mr. Hollywood because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things I've called this guy or wanted to call this guy. Hollywood's not one of them. But you know what? I think I got five in this gun. All right. If you want to try something, I'm all for it. All right, let's do ten then. Maybe they'll forget about that piss I just had. Ten clays. Might be the time to take a picture. <laughs> just saying. Instagram post. Hashtag epic failure. I did not say ten at one time, Steve. <laughs> you said he said ten clays. You guys have it. Yeah, one, one at a time. One at a time, I'll alternate right and left hand. Certainly would be more realistic than shooting ten at one time. Yes, it would. All right, I'll do whatever you want. I'm All here. right. I'm here for you. Ten clay is going to alternate right and left. Here we go. Ready? Ready. How's that left hand? Pretty good. Faster? Got one left. Right. You threw two. Yeah, and you missed one. <laughs> How am I supposed to shoot two birds at one time? You're overcomplicating it. Here, let me explain. With your right eye, look on the right gun at the right target. With your left eye, look on the left gun at the left target. When they're both on target, just pull the trigger. <laughs> it is shotgunning, right? We don't need to overcomplicate this. All right. I'll give you another try. Right eye, right gun, left eye, left gun. You Down. got it. Here we go. Separate those eyes. Just like that. I found well, a little bit earlier we were shooting with the gun from different positions. We can actually take some of those different positions, put them together within the same shot, and we call that a combination shot. So I'm going to take three clays, throw them up in the air, and I'm going to shoot each one with the gun from a different position. The first one from the hip, transitioning up to the shoulder to shoot the second one. Then flipping the gun upside down over my head to shoot the third clay. So not only do I need to shoot multiple targets, but I need to find a new sight picture every time I shoot. And that makes this a very challenging shot. What I got a two for one shot. What I got a two for one on that one. 